We are not using HelloFresh boxes this time because I am now a professional chef. And I don't need no pre-made boxes with ingredients and recipes and stuff. That was 2019 heaven, this is 2020 heaven. No, you know me. I'm gonna cover up this mess of hair. Oh good, I look like a bald peanut. Oh, this looks authentic with the little twist. All right, you guys. So the other day at the store, I got my normal groceries and I came across an eggplant. I saw this in the produce section and I was like, I gotta have it. I didn't really know what it was. I know I've seen the emoji. Used inappropriately. And I have absolutely no idea what you do with an eggplant. So I shared a little questionnaire poll thing on my Instagram story and a lot of you gave me ideas of how to cook an eggplant. So I read through what everybody said and thank you guys so much for your suggestions. However, because 90% of everybody said eggplant parmesan, I looked up a recipe of eggplant parmesan and y'all this thing was a mile long and difficulty level like four. So we're not doing that. I am now a professional chef. However, because it's just me and this thing is freaking huge, it's literally me. I'm gonna probably do like half a recipe for half the eggplant, then the other half the eggplant do a whole different recipe. So, here's what I'm thinking, y'all. We're gonna do a different version, a much shorter, more manageable version of eggplant parmesan for half the eggplant. And then we're just gonna fry some slices in a frying pan. You're supposed to eat them like chips? Y'all, I don't know. I also have no idea if I like eggplant. I'm also very allergic to a lot of fruits and this is not a fruit but if I'm allergic to this we'll find out I just really like it okay let me take my thumbnail pic before we get started wow I literally look like a little ball person so anyway you guys let's get started so since the eggplant parmesan is gonna take the longest and it needs to go in the oven let's do it first so first I have to slice the eggplant it says to put mushrooms in there but I learned from my hello fresh experience I do not like mushrooms probably don't like eggplant either but we're gonna find out and then I need a lot of parmesan cheese a lot of mozzarella cheese and some tomato basil pasta sauce so I just bought that just now at the store I totally forgot about parmesan cheese so I may or may not get parmesan cheese <laughs> we'll look in the fridge in a minute so first up to heat the oven it definitely doesn't know that it's gonna take me forever to get it prepped. I also do not have a brownie pan. I don't know what you call these things. And the grocery store I just went to did not sell, you know, the glassware, ceramic ware. So I bought some like reusable plastic ware, but actually it might be made out of metal. If it's plastic, it can't go in the oven. So let's hope that it's made out of metal. I mean, it was like $5, so. All right, so my lid is definitely plastic. This looks like some cheap aluminum foil. So I'm pretty sure we can put this in the oven. But anyway, so we're gonna make it in this, which you would normally have, you know, under your sink in a cupboard. I don't have these things because I don't bake. Also as a little extra, I saw these noodles in the aisle staring at me, so I bought them. So we may put some noodles on this eggplant in the oven. But I think we have to make the noodles first. Let me get some water boiling. This thing is like so cute and just perfect looking that I really don't want to cut it. Also, do you like slice it first? Like a potato? Like you take the skin off? Do you guys hear the texture of this thing? I also don't even know, is this a vegetable? It's like eggplant, is it a, hey Siri, is an eggplant an egg or a plant? Eggplant, Herbergino bringen is a plant species in the nightshade family Solanaceae. Huh? Y'all gotta look this up, cause I'm intrigued now. All right guys, it is in fact a vegetable, which I think we would all guess first. Just kidding. Wikipedia done fooled me. Although often considered a vegetable, it is a berry. Yo, this is a berry. This is the biggest berry I have ever seen. It's like, do you want to make a smoothie with like 15 strawberries or like 15 smoothies with one eggplant? <laughs> this is a berry. All right, you guys, literally on my Instagram, I'm going to put a quiz and see who can guess that it's a berry. We're going to say option one, fruit. Option two, berry. Option three, vegetable. All right, you guys, so I'm running this poll. So if you follow me on Instagram, feel free to vote. Okay, this is probably designed for like some specific recipe. I don't know. Y'all, it's literally the size of my cutting board. We're going to have to upgrade this sucker. I have no idea what I am doing. All right, you guys. Okay, here's the inside of an eggplant, in case you're curious. Oh, smells like a cucumber. All right, so we're gonna do two different recipes. For the first one, I don't have that 
nonstick. We're just gonna willy nilly some oil. Okay, that was a very lot more than I was expecting. All right, on stick. It says layer half each of the eggplant and then mushrooms. We're not doing mushrooms. So layer the eggplant. Parmesan and mozzarella, and then top with pasta sauce? I have no idea. Let's slice this sucker though. It looks kind of fun. Oh, how do you do this? <laughs> All right, look how pleasing that looks. Y'all, these noodles are about to be soggy. We gotta hurry. <laughs> I have no idea. Am I supposed to take the peel off? Like, is it like bologna? You guys, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. It looks like you just put the eggplant in here. And then you cover it with like cheese and sauce. But you're supposed to do layers. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so here's gonna be my bottom layer, I guess. I'm just gonna do this like a freaking pizza and just willy nilly my layers and toppings. I don't know. I don't need a lot, I don't think. As I pour the whole jar. I have a little tiny bit of Parmesan left over. Should I like smooth that around? Okay, I don't know if this is gonna like catch fire or burn or start smoking. I don't know how this pan works. I don't know how eggplant works. Just found out it was a berry. Ooh, this is some big chunky mozzarella. I must've got the pizza cut. I'm not gonna lie y'all. I'm having some high expectations because this looks amazing. But maybe it's just because it looks like pizza. <laughs> I'm gonna pour some extra sauce. This may be like insanely too much. I don't know. All right, noodle time. All right, you guys, here is my pasta. It looks beautiful. If you remember from a previous HelloFresh video that I did, I do not have tongs still. So we're gonna use this little uh, Ors Divors picker upper. All right, so I'm just gonna put some noodle on here. This was my own idea. This was not in the recipe. There may be a reason, we'll find out. I feel like I just made like a super bougie lasagna with like cheap and Ingredient. That's what I feel like eggplant is doing for me right now. I'm gonna add some extra cheese. Here's the before footage before it goes in the oven. I'm not gonna lie y'all, it looks amazing. Amateur YouTuber props, totally forgot to tell you guys what recipe I use. So this recipe is from a blog or website called myfoodandfamily.com. So they get the credit for this recipe. I decided to add the noodles myself, plus you're supposed to use an entire eggplant, I use half. So let's put the sucker in the oven. Here's the seriously hoping that that pan is allowed to be in the oven. All right, let's start the next one. Oh, I gotta set a timer. Uh, hey Siri, set a timer for 35 minutes. Okay, 35 minutes and counting. Little pro tip. Yeah, because I'm a pro in the kitchen. I put the date on what time I use the sauce, so I know. Oh, today's Julian's birthday, it's the 14th. I even put 20, just in case it's still in my fridge a year later. All right, so next we are going to fry some slices. So I'm gonna slice it up like I did the last one, but I'm gonna dip it in some egg and then some breadcrumbs, I think, and just fry it in some oil, and that's it. So this one should be pretty simple. Let's do it. This recipe does say to peel the eggplant, so I'm gonna take my potato peeler, although it's super fragile, so a potato peeler may be too rough, but that's all I got. I don't have an eggplant peeler. I don't even know if that is a thing. I have no earthly idea. Oh my gosh. This may not work, y'all. It is the weirdest texture ever. Maybe I should just cut it, you think? Yo, this is not going well, to say the least. <laughs> this is like extremely difficult. Hey Siri, how do you peel an eggplant? Okay, I found this on the web for how do you peel an eggplant. Check it out. Can you not read it to me? Do I even have Siri? Nine steps! Cut off the end, remove the stem, cut the bottom. Oh, you guys, there is an eggplant peeler. I don't know if you can see this or not. We don't have nothing like that. Also, that was a very small eggplant. I would consider that a cucumber. We're dealing with the real deal. Also, it is literally turning like a color as soon as I peel it. Kind of like an apple browns with oxygen. I just made that up. I don't know why the apple browns. Okay, you guys, we have a very butchered looking eggplant cut. It's very lightweight. It feels like a sponge. I'm gonna slice it just like the other one. I kind of want to do thin slices. What just happened? Oh lord, ignore that. <laughs> These are gonna be some thick slices, boy. All right, it says to first beat three eggs. I do not have a uh, beater. And since I'm only doing half the eggplant, I'm probably, we're just gonna do two eggs because I only have two eggs. I'm just gonna put it in this bowl here. A little egg juice. 
All right, we have eggs. Next, I'm gonna put a plate of breadcrumbs. I bought the cheap Italian style, so they should taste good because I love me some Italian stuff. Heat oil in a large skillet over medium high heat. Dip the eggplant slices into the egg, then into the crumbs, and then put on the hot oil. Fry for two to three minutes on each side or until golden brown. All right, guys. Get this heated up and ready to go. It says use canola oil. All I have is vegetable and olive oil. So we're gonna use vegetable oil so I don't smoke up the place and burn the place down. I don't know how much you put in here. While we're waiting on the oil to heat up, let's look at how the poll is doing. I have several messages. People probably being like, that is not no berry. Trust me, I've seen some berries. <laughs> All right, we have 20 votes. 16 people voted vegetable, three people for fruit, and one person guessed berry. Wow. I'll keep y'all posted on how it continues. I am legit afraid of this oil. I think it's gonna pop all over me. I'm getting really nervous. Okay, eggplant. Oh my God, it just broke. These are so fragile. The egg is so nasty. Oh, it looks like freaking booger snot. Ooh, this actually looks good, y'all. Okay, here it goes. I'm scared. Okay, we're good, we're good. Why is my stove eye so lopsided? Y'all, this is kind of fun. Watch me absolutely hate eggplant. Y'all, I'm about to get egg all over my camera, but look at how cute and just perfect these things look. It's like, is it a tofu burger or is it eggplant? We'll never know. This is gonna be such a hot mess. Ah! Oh man, this is gonna take me. Oh, get off, quit, quit mooching on her. Oh, y'all nasty, get out of there. All right, one is flipped. <laughs> that took forever. Y'all, this is stressing me out. There's a better angle. All right, you guys, here's my first batch of our fried eggplant. It honestly looks so good. I hope it tastes good. I'm not good at this, y'all. Oh, oh my God. Y'all, get off each other, you nasties. Does this not look like it's from a food commercial? Let's just take a minute. This is so pretty. I just took the fried eggplant, put it on a plate, and my little buzzer thingy went off. So, let's take it out of the oven. Oh, it's a little burnt. Okay, you guys, this is fresh from the oven. The noodles are a little burnt, and I was not even thinking. They needed to be wet, even though I cooked them already. Look how freaking pretty it looks. That also looks like it'll feed an entire family of eight. Okay, fried eggplant. These were obviously fried a little longer than those. And our Parmesan eggplant, whatever it was called. Also, this recipe is from allrecipes.com. They get the total credit for it, but you literally just fry it in oil with egg and breadcrumbs. So not like it's anything super special. <laughs> and this was from myfoodandfamily.com. Plus my added noodles that I thought was a good idea, but now they're like black. So I have no idea how to do this really pretty, but I'm just gonna kind of take a little, do you hear the crunch of those noodles? <laughs> Maybe that wasn't a good idea. All right, I know there's one in here somewhere. I just dug right into the middle of the eggplant. Great. All right, so we got a big piece of eggplant. And then I'm gonna take a few. These honestly look so good. I really hope they're good. Okay, guys, here goes the taste test. I really wanna try this fried thing first. It just looks good, but anything's good fried, technically. Oh. Oh, wow. I don't know. <laughs> For some reason, I'm getting ideas of seafood with this. And that's kind of freaking me out because I hate seafood. Maybe it's just because it's extremely tender. Oh, wow. Y'all, I don't know if I love it. Now, this other thing is basically a pizza with eggplant in it and no pepperonis or dough. So basically not a pizza. I don't know whose idea it was to put these noodles in here. <laughs> they are hard as a rock. Oh, I love this sauce. Fun fact, I'm actually not allowed to eat tomatoes because my stomach doesn't digest them well. <laughs> It'll be fine. Oh my God, that was so good. I really can't taste the eggplant. I just tasted sauce and cheese. Now this is eggplant, but it looks really hot. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, you guys, it is really good baked. Maybe it's sauce and cheese, but that tastes really good. I can still taste the eggplant, like I know it's there, but it like, the sauce and cheese complement the flavor of it. I don't know, the fried thing, I'm not I'm not so sure on. I'm gonna eat the other two and we'll see. Also, yeah, I'm drinking Powerade. Super classy, what can I say? So I ate another piece of the fried and it was decent. I don't really know how to put it into words. It's not gross, it's not the best. There's also like flavor that comes and goes. So I'm gonna put a little doppel, a little dabble, What's it called? A dollop. I'm gonna put a 
little dollop of sour, not sour cream. That might be good. Cream cheese, because you know, I just can't have enough cheese in this world. Cream cheese is gonna go on this eggplant. Is that weird? Maybe. I love cream cheese though. So it's not gonna spread, but we're, I'm gonna try it. Oh my God. When does that expire? <laughs> Y'all, November 2019. <laughs> so I see sour cream cheese on camera. Wow. Clickbait. Just kidding, I'm not putting that in the thumbnail. That's embarrassing. Wow. Oh my God, am I gonna have like diarrhea now? I probably just blame all the tomatoes anyways. Oh wow. There was no mold in it, it looked fine. So yeah. That was that. <laughs> yeah, all these noodles are literally hard as a rock. Okay, so my overall review is to one, check the date on your ingredients, and two, probably put something on the fried eggplant, unless you just really like the taste of eggplant. I don't hate it, I don't love it, it's just kinda in between, so I would definitely put some sort of garnish on it, or not expired cream cheese, maybe some sour cream. I've never cooked eggplant, never eaten eggplant. The baked eggplant was freaking delicious, but you guys saw how much sauce and cheese I put on there, so the ratio show was probably like not what it was supposed to be so maybe i'm just tasting the sauce and cheese but it was delicious <laughs> all right you guys there are 41 votes in my poll as of the end of this video we had eight votes for fruit 30 votes for a vegetable and three people guess it right as berry congrats you three so anywho thank you guys so much for watching my cooking video it was a lot of fun super random picked up something at the grocery store and i was like you know what i'm gonna find a way to make this edible <laughs> that's my eggplant cooking story and i will see you guys next time <laughs> goodbye and as of now a couple hours after what am i doing <laughs> i've got problems what's i talking about that was really weird let me take some photos of it first let me get a water of let me get a boiled water going let me get some water boiling hey siri is an eggplant an egg or a plant i'm here Mm-hmm. <laughs>